name is Doug Harrowoff. I own Paul Shoe Service in Glen Ellen. And I make sure I always try to keep running it the way my father ran it. So we've been doing this for 66 years between my dad and myself. It's very unique. You see something going on as many years as ours. In fact, right now we're the oldest business in town. The gentleman right here, he was the previous owner. His name is Val Sickler, and he owned it from 1906 to 1951. And then my father always wanted to own his own place. At the time, he was working in a shoe factory in Chicago for Florsheim Shoe Company, and then he noticed the store was for sale, and he drove out and purchased it from his wife, and it's been in our family ever since. So, so that, that was me. Uh, working for my father, I was probably at the time 16, 17 years old. Took those pants out. They're pretty fancy. <laughs> Check those pants out. A lot of times at work, certain jobs were kind of given to me that were kind of challenging. I guess I just felt at ease and comfortable and confident to do them. In the back of my mind, I knew I could do that kind of stuff, but I really had kind of my heart maybe was going to go in a different direction. But unfortunately, with what happened with my parents and all that kind of stuff, I, my my um, decisions had to be changed. My brothers and sisters, we all got together and put our money together, and we decided to send them two on a trip together. They went to Hawaii, and then they were there for about a week, and the day before, he was supposed to come home. Unfortunately, my father had a massive heart attack there and died in Hawaii. You know, and being a senior in high school, and you're, you know, your, your father, you want your parents to kind of guide you through your next part of your life, so losing that person, it, was, it made it pretty tough. My brothers were all talking about maybe selling the business, but then I felt, geez, my father would do, did all this hard work and created this business of, of loyalty from customers and stuff, and I just didn't want to see that go away. And so I made the decision to buy my other two brothers out and then keep it running. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How's it going? I just came to the Westfield Drive Center. Is it worth repairing or not? Well, we actually might even have some hardware to get replaced this whole People still to this day still come in and say, you know, great things about him, how he was a good man and he was a good person. There's a ward here. There's a ward named after my father. And every year I have to go and give it away to it's a for the senior citizen of Glen Ellen. And the ward's named after him in memory of my dad. And now we're putting the sole back on. So we're giving the 7 16th lift on the shoe. So one's leg shorter than the other, so this is a way of getting them level. So that you could uh, start walking around with no pain and be a happy, happy person, right? When you're in a business, when you own a business or if you are in charge of something, you should, your character is important and your identity is important. So I think it's important to make sure you do things the right way. and. You know, and treat people like you want to be treated.